Hi, it's been a while, I know. Um, this is basically just going to be a little video, like, well, a little life update basically. A little update on my life and like, why I've not been making any videos recently, pretty much. It's only going to be like two minute video, probably, so yeah, just keep watching. Alright, so to start the video off, basically, I've been through a breakup recently with my girlfriend and like, we're, yeah, we're not together anymore. Um, that's why a bunch of my videos have now gone off my channel, obviously, because, well, I've deleted them, obviously. Um, I didn't know how to cope with that at first. I've been, like, really upset in the past couple of weeks. And I've also been really happy because I've been, like, doing a lot of stuff to take my mind off that as well. And I've had, like, a lot of people be really, really supportive and nice. And it's, like, people have really tried to make me feel better and, yeah. So thank you for that because that's helped me a lot. All you need to know basically is, no, I wasn't happy at all at first. I was really, really down about it and I was really hurt. But now I'm feeling a lot better. I'm starting to come to terms with what's actually happened and why, I guess. And the, just the fact that I've, I'm feeling a lot better and I'm still going to try and be positive. And, um, I'm currently on my second year of uni. I still want to do YouTube videos and I'm still going to try and do YouTube videos when I can. I've got like a few ideas of videos that I want to make. My first video I made this year was actually filmed in this park like when I was talking about how life is unpredictable and now I've been faced with that again in November. I felt like this in January and now it's November and I've been faced with all this like fucking unpredictable stuff that's happening to me again and some of it good, some of it bad. Obviously the breakup was really hard, breakups are never easy. I did have a couple of tattoos to show and I was going to show them in this video because I've got like my Spider-Man tattoo is now healed and I, I don't know if I've, sh yeah, I've showed these. I, I, yeah, I showed them in a video once I think, yeah. And I've got one there too but um, I'm going to have to Put that footage in when I get home because I'm like dressed fully right now and it's really cold outside so I'm not going to take my shirt off. But yeah, I'll, I'll show you the tattoos in like a, well, in a few seconds of home footage. So right now. I got this one a couple of weeks ago and it was the second most painful tattoo after my elbow web. Because it's like the inner elbow. I, I don't know what it's called but yeah, um, <laughs> it hurt a lot but I really like it. It's, I'm trying to get a nice close up of it. I'm kind of looking at the reflection in the window so you can see it properly. But yeah. Um, it's kind, of one of, it's kind of one of my favourite tattoos actually, I think it looks really cool. I just have more gaps to fill now though, but it's all good. Um, I have Spider-Man as well. I'm trying to get a nice close-up of him as well. My Spider-Man tattoo is completely healed now, feels good, and I can't wait to get more Marvel characters because I've decided that I'm going to start getting a Marvel sleeve here on all this nice empty space. So, you know, next up is Iron Man. As well as getting two new tattoos, um, I don't really have that much to update you on with my life, really. Because um, most of the exciting stuff that's coming is happening in 2018. Like, obviously there's... I'm planning on going to Slam Dunk Download Festival and Leeds Festival next year, but I've also got a couple of concerts booked for February, January, which are Blackfield Brides and Asking Alexandra at the Brixton Academy in London, and also While She Sleeps in Architects at the Alexandra Palace in London. So I'm making, like, two trips to London in, like, the space of one week like it's gonna be like one week I'm going to London and then the next Saturday I'm going to London again like for two massive shows as well like they're not even small shows they're like amazing massive shows and it's comes I'm like I'm extremely excited for them because I've been waiting for Blackfield Brides and asking Alexandra to do a tour together since like 2012 now my little emo heart can beat again and I'm like absolutely fucking well I'm absolutely stoked for it really and Architects and While She Sleeps are two bands that I've really got into this year and I just can't wait to see them in such an, an enormous like venue, whatever you call it. It's, it's Alexandra Palace and I've, I've never been to these places before so I'm extremely excited. If anyone is going to either of these gigs then um, just look for the guy doing shots in the queue because I plan on doing a few shots in the queue before I go in. I'm doing 2018 big. This video is going on a lot longer than I planned it to go on so I'm going to stop talking now. That was basically just a little life update. I, I hope you like weren't too bored by this but I just wanted to let you know that I'm okay. I'm, I'm still here, I'm back, I want to make videos, I'm going to carry on making videos, I've got a few ideas for the rest of this year. Then next year you can expect some massive concert vlogs on this channel, as well as massive festival vlogs and whatever else I get up to. I'll be going to other places as well. Before this sun completely goes down, I'm going to end this video. The Dilcam is back. I'm going to carry on making these videos. I'm going to carry on being this weirdo that talks to a camera or a phone in this case right now in a park. See, I've got like no shame at all and this looks really, really cool and I'm getting really distracted by it. Bye.